Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode two of our Timberborn playthrough. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out the first video in this series, as well as some of my past uh, series in this game, as well as others. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back for some more Timberborn. Really excited to get into this series. And without further ado, let's get into episode two. All right, so we're just here in our district. Still need a name for this district, so leave one in the comments. We are on, looks like day two of a drought um, here, so we can go ahead and see what we've got going on. So, we've got our food set up. We've got some berries set up, which is really important for the iron teeth so that they can uh, go ahead and get uh, their reproduction, their breeding pods going. And then we've got uh, the start of some timber up here, as well as the start of a dam, which is going to be really good. So we're going to get this dam going, and then we're also going to need to dam over here, because if we don't, it's really not going to uh, save us very much water. So let's kind of uh, start to think about doing that. So I'm thinking we'll probably just block off here. So why don't we get a levee there? And then some levees coming down here. This will all be levees. And then I'm thinking that this will be dams. That should work. And then we can go ahead and get a path down there. Something like this. And then why don't we connect that up with a path. Um, as well as, I guess we could bring a path over here. With some stairs down there. Not sure where that's going to go, but... It should be good. All right, let's prioritize the uh, the dams here to be built first. And then that allows us to go to our highest priority if we want to uh, get something done in the interim. So let's take a look at our resources. We're doing great on food. we got tons of food. We're doing pretty good on water considering it's a drought. and We've had these, uh, these pumps stopped for a few days now. So that's pretty good. Logs are pretty stagnant. We don't really have uh, anywhere that's cutting down some logs. So why don't we pause both of these? We can actually get these ones up and running to get these oaks cut. Let's make sure everything's in our cutting area. It is. That's perfect. And then, are these pines worth saving? I mean, not really. I might, I might just mark these for uh, for demolition. Quite honestly. Let's get those demolished so we can run a path out here and then probably do some do some other stuff in this area once we uh, get some water coming back. But anyway, the drought has ended. It is going to take quite a while for that water to get down here, but we should be just fine um, for water. And hopefully by building this dam a little bit further out, it'll allow us to uh, get all of these trees growing over here. I think that that would be good. All right, so let's see. We have four unemployed beavers. We're gonna put two in here, um, and then we can probably get let's get a couple more lumberjacks going, just so that they can start to get that cut down. And then we still have two more vacancies. So what are we gonna be working towards today? So one thing that I really want to work on is getting this dam set up, and then I would also like to put another forester over here. So we're going to need to unlock the platform. We have enough science for it. Um, and then, let's see, do I want a bridge across there? I need to kind of figure out. So if we go into our forester, so if we go, go into our, our wood tab, I want a forester in here that can cover this whole area as well as get the area that this one doesn't. So if you remember, this one only covers essentially what's already been planted. Let's just, before we forget, let's get uh, a couple water pumps going. And then I actually, I might take a brief, brief hiatus here. I might get a hauling post. Hauling posts are really useful um, because they, um, they essentially move goods between areas for you. So like if we use the, uh, the water pump as an example, rather than this guy, pumping some water and then running it 
and filling up a container, which granted is very close as of now, but I'd like to move these a little bit further away. The hauler will come by and move the goods for him so he can continue to pump the water himself. So, you know, very, uh, it, it's a good, uh, it's a good thing to have. I'm going to throw some stairs in here because I want to actually move these farmhouses up on top here. And just for the sake of tucking everything. Actually, you know what? We're going to do it like this. We're going to put those there. And then let's get some platforms in there. Not really sure what we're going to what we're going to do with those. But we can get a couple farmers in here. And then these are going to focus on kohlrabi. And they're going to be on high worker priority. Now the question is, do we actually have enough planks? We do not. So we're going to have to get this back up and uh, functional. Which is going to pull from our science. That's okay. We still have a decent amount of science. So it's not the end of the world. But that'll allow me to kind of remove these. Shift some stuff over. And hopefully get like a uh, hauling post in here. Would be, would be the goal. Okay, so let's see actually, because I would kind of like to get a little, maybe another storage, honestly. Yeah, maybe another storage. Let's get this farmhouse built so that I can start to remove these. That would be good. And we do have two vacant jobs right now, which are our science facilities. We could probably go ahead and pause these two because there's really there's really not much left to get over here as far as wood um, and then these similarly not much up here in terms of wood either so we are going to need to start to harvest some of this and let's just make sure our cutting area is correct it is not so we want to catch all of this like that as well as all of these and then I don't want this path, and then I don't want this path either. And that's not super important. It's just kind of, it's just kind of the way I like to do it. All right. So we're getting this uh, this dam built. We did get one of our farmhouses built. So why don't we go ahead and delete one of those for now, because we do have two farmhouses still, and that's good. And we're starting to make some planks, which is good. So hopefully we can get these built. So why don't we build that stuff ahead of this dam? I think we have enough time um, in between now and when the next drought comes that we could still handle this pretty well. And then why don't we open up one of these, one of these foresters here? Might as well keep a uh, keep a good use of our of our beavers. Make sure everyone's everyone's working. All right. So I'd like to get this built. They still need planks, which we do have. So hopefully they should start to bring some planks over. There we go. And then we can go ahead and delete this farmhouse. And we can get these goods picked up. Although I imagine... Yeah, a lot of these are just kohlrabis. Which there's actually no storage for. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to throw a uh, medium warehouse in here. And this is also going to store kohlrabi. Go ahead and get that built. And then we're going to throw a staircase down here, I want to say. Actually, maybe not. I might throw... Just trying to see how I could best use this space. I really want some way for the beavers to get down here. But there might not be a good way, because I was hoping to fit a hauling post in here, like this. And if there's... If there has to be the entrance there, I mean, I guess I could actually flip it around. Yeah, why don't we do that? So we'll put stairs there. Could get another... If I get another farm there, would be able to help out a little bit. So why don't we just template one of those for now? And then we'll have this path kind of running around like that. 
And then let's empty this. All right, so that's empty. We can go ahead and delete that out of there. Come through and pick up those logs, transfer them up here. Doesn't really look like there's anything left to be harvested here. We just take a quick look. Yeah, so there's nothing left to harvest here. Go ahead and delete those. There's a couple oaks that are growing here. And then there's a couple birch over here. So why don't we get these birch cut? That would be perfect. And then we're pretty much going to start to transfer to using this as our primary um, wood facility. All right. So if we kind of think about how we could get a path over here. So if we were to run that like that. Connect that up. Delete that out of there. And then let's just say that we put our new Forester here. Yeah, so this would be able to cover that whole kind of island area, but it wouldn't get all the way up there. So I wonder if I put a path through like that, would this Forester now be able to get there? Yes, it would. All right, so this is kind of our, that's gonna be our second Forester. And then I'm actually going to delete these, delete all of that path because we no longer, we're no longer going to need it. Um, but they can start working on this kind of at their leisure. And let's just see, let's get this staircase built so that the farmers have a little bit easier time getting over here. And now we want to get one of our hauling posts in here. Oh, we could actually get two. All right, that's actually really good. I might just put the second one down, but put it on absolute lowest priority. Something like that. And then if we go into decoration, we can finally unlock the shrub, our favorite decoration, as everybody knows. Everybody loves the shrubs. Why don't we get a shrub there as well? Start to get some decoration in there. All right, so we're working on the dam. Dam is coming along nicely. Uh, I do kind of realize that I could have saved some wood by actually building it up on the ledge, but that's okay. They'll they'll get it figured out. All right, so why don't we... Looks like these are actually, yeah, these are not in the cutting area, so we'll, we'll get those in there. And then we're probably gonna pause those and just kind of move the whole cutting operation over to our new lumber area. So there we go. Those are good. There's going to be one more tree in there. I'm not going to, probably not going to worry about it. But okay, so we've got some more cutting area here, none there. And let's go ahead and get another beaver up here, cutting down some wood. And this dam is really occupying all of our wood, um, for better or worse. I don't think I have enough wood to get these built. I might. No. No, probably not. I think we're going to have to finish... Yeah, let's finish the dam first. That'll be, that'll be highest priority. And then I'm going to place this section on the next highest. I think that that'll work. Although we do have vacant jobs. So part of me kind of wants to get something else up and running here. We're doing pretty good on water. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Might as well open up that gatherer for the berries. If we have the uh, if we have the jobs for it, that'll be good. And then these guys are making planks with the no logs that we have, which is great. Um, so I think we're gonna want a couple more lumberjacks. So we could get could get like two here. Let's 
Oh, we have another drought incoming. Excellent. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little section here where we could get a couple lumberjacks. And then maybe a shrub here. A grindstone here. And then maybe another shrub here. Although I kind of want a lantern. It's only 100 signs. Kind of a waste, but... Uh, let's go ahead and put a lantern in there. And we are actually going to put just this section on highest priority and then we'll shift shift all of this down same with that and then once they get this little section built so that we can get some more trees cut down we can uh, we can go ahead and reprioritize the dam although with two days left I kind of want to get the dam done all right yeah all right, so we'll get the dam, we'll get the dam done first, and then we'll build this. Although I'll, I'll let them, I'll let them build that for now, not that. So let's see. Yeah, they're still waiting on two logs. Not sure if they're going to come and build those, but we will see. Hopefully, we can get this dam done. So we're going to need twenty, forty. Yeah, we're going to need something like 60 logs, I think, to technically get that thing closed off. Um, which we should be able to do. Maybe. In one day. I might raise the working hours a little bit. Just to uh, keep everybody working. Before we, uh, before we reach this drought, and then I'll drop them back down. Just so that we can try and get this dam built. And it kind of looks like they're building this back section first. Which I guess is actually okay. Because I think technically that'll close it off. I just like having the, the right angles with the dams. That's just a uh, personal, personal preference. So hopefully we can get that built. Ten more logs. We have none. Which is not great. But it is what it is. The oaks are getting there. We do have some pines over here. All right. So once we get all this stuff built, so just kind of what I'm envisioning. So this will allow us to plant this whole area. Why don't we get this stuff planted now? So this is all going to be oak, which is our our best tree as far as um, how many logs it produces. So this will all be oak. And then this area up here will also be oak. I am going to have them remove these pines um, before we start to plant the oak. But that'll be okay. Alright, so the dam is pretty much done. Um, I do think that this will hold water. Could be wrong. I would love it if they would finish these two blocks before the water completely runs out, but we will see. We're going to have a little bit of time until that water completely runs out. But I don't really think that we're going to get there in terms of uh, in terms of getting the uh, getting enough getting enough logs to get this built because this one's not even done yet. You can see the water is already starting to run out. So, that means it is time to pause both of our water pumps. Okay, and it did work. Yeah, so we got so we got our dam. Even though there's kind of a little crack in there where, in theory, some water could escape. The game, I guess, works so that if you have dams like this, that is considered to be fully dammed off. I like to do it like this, purely for wasteful aesthetic reasons. <laughs> it uh, it really it really doesn't it really doesn't change the game. All right, so let's see. So hunger and shelter. If we go up into our well-being tab, are the things that are still hurting us. So why don't we bring this back down to our normal working hours? 
We do have t plenty of food. We do not have shelter. That is one thing that uh, we do not have. And we have just exhausted all of our wood supply. All right. So with that being the case, we could actually get one of these, a couple of those, and this guy activated so that we can continue to harvest these trees, what few there are, so we can get some wood. And then why don't we mark some of these for demolition. So I'm going to get rid of these trees so that we can come in here and plant some oaks. And I'm just going to run a path up here just so that they're close enough. Alright, like that. And then this is all going to be oak. All of that. So we've got our pines, which grow a little bit faster. Um, don't provide as much in the way of wood, but they do grow at a pretty good pace. So those will be useful. And then we've got our oaks coming in. Let's see, these are not quite there yet. So why don't we pause both of these, pause this, and then with our priorities, I think we're going to focus. I mean, let's just let them get that dam done. And then we're going to come in here, we're gonna build all of this. And then next, I think we'll get one of our hauling posts up and running, as well as another farmhouse. Um, and then we'll let them kind of build the rest at their at their leisure. So only one more log for this. Unfortunately, we have no logs coming in, which is not ideal, um, but it is what it is. So until we get some logs coming in, I wonder, is there anywhere that we could go grab some easy logs? Not really. These are going to be kind of our next, because without buildings, you know, we would need, we would need logs and, uh, plain timber to build stairs and unfortunately we can't get to any logs easily but that's okay this is coming along um, they haven't finished that yet again they're going to need logs for it and we're starting to get a pretty decent amount of uh, available beavers so unfortunately this is going to need logs this also needs logs why don't we put that on medium priority so that they'll build the hauling post. And with the drought ended, you can see that the water is coming back down. And that is really good because we are out of water. I actually might get, I'll just get that third water pump templated in there. And then we're gonna start to have to get some medium water tanks to store a little bit more water. Now, medium water tanks are gonna take gears, as you can see, planks and gears. So if we go into our wood production, we're going to need to unlock the gear workshop, which can be powered off of this. Um, so the question is, how do we want to lay these out? So I'm kind of thinking, let's see, so that will completely block that off, but we could get, we could get a gear workshop there and maybe a plain timber workshop there. And then I think, let's see, so this takes 120, these take 75. This at most can produce 350, something like that. So I think that that will be pretty much capacity for all of this. Um, but I am gonna put these on low priority. And why they're coming over here to build that. Oh, I guess they're, they're using the planks. That's okay. All right, so we have another forester. He's going to come in here and plant all those oaks. So that is going to be good. And then once we get a nice, reliable um, source of wood, that will help us a lot. Because wood is really going to be, you know, what, what keeps us going for, I mean, almost the entire game. Wood is, you know, essential in this game. So let's get another lumberjack over here. He can come over and clear away one of these logs. That'll be good. And then let's see. So our water is flowing quite well. 
which is good. We got tons of water. We are going to eventually build another dam here to make this whole area plantable and also give us access to some new um, types of food, which require processing. So with that being said, we're just kind of waiting on this facility to get up and running. I am going to put these at lowest priority. And we'll just max that out. So any excess beavers we get will come in here. And we're going to prioritize the water facilities for beavers. Uh, sorry, we're going to prioritize the water pumping stations for haulers. That's what I meant to say. So this will be good. This will kind of catch all of our excess jobs. And it's on the lowest priority along with our science. So those will always be kind of just nice to haves. You know what I mean? Like if the if we're kind of lacking on population and we need beavers to go elsewhere, they will. Um, but if we do have extras, they'll come up here, which will be good. All right, so I think the next big thing, because we're kind of on a standstill here until we get the wood going. The next big thing we're gonna wanna do is figure out some housing. So we have 28 beavers that are all homeless. We've got a couple options for housing. We've got the barrack, which holds 10, large barrack holds 16, row house and large row house. So why don't we unlock the row house for 180 science, that'll be good. Might as well unlock the large barrack. We do not have enough for the, uh, the large row house. And then let's see, what is this? Advanced breeding pod. Utilizes an advanced breeding process to produce adult beavers. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. So they're not kids. So they don't just... And it takes extract. Okay. Not to mention that it involves metal beams and uh, refined planks, neither of which we have access to. But how do we want to start laying out the housing? I think what we'll do is why don't we take this path just a little bit further over. Give us a little bit more space where we can start to get a couple barracks in here. And I kind of want to leave some space in there for some stairs to go up. So why don't we get like two barracks in there. And then we're going to want some stairs heading up there. Not sure where there's a, where there's a, where those are going to go. Um, but I think getting the barracks built would be good. So that's going to provide housing for 20 beavers. Might as well make that the highest priority for now. I think, yeah, that would be good. And then this guy's coming over here and planting up. So that's going to be great. This one, unfortunately, can't help. It would have been nice if it was a little bit more centralized, but that's okay. Once stuff gets built, um, these it doesn't really matter where these are. Um, so getting, or not built, planted. Once stuff gets planted, it doesn't really matter where they are. And we're actually going to get some oaks popping up soon, which is going to be good. So let's see. Our cutting area is good. Can these reach all the way over there? They can. Um, they can't reach over here, so we're going to need a couple... We're going to need a couple lumberjacks over here to uh, do some work. So with that, I could get the double platforms and I could kind of put them in like right here. If I put like two platforms in there, yeah, those would be able to cover a lot of this. That would be good. And then why don't we get a couple double platforms there with some shrubs. That'll be nice. And then maybe a couple right here with a lantern and then maybe a grindstone just to help them out. So that's like a little, little hub this is also a little hub. This one, these ones are just kind of uh, out in the, in you know, the, in the trees, which will be fine. All right, so we have our first barrack up and running. So you can see um, with shelter, this is still saying none of them have shelter, but uh, I would imagine that once we go into the night, 
we would start to get some uh, some shelter in here. All right, so now we can start to get a little bit more housing. So why don't I put a platform there? And we could get we could get another couple barracks in here. We could get a barrack there. And then we could even get a couple row houses in here. Yeah, that might work. I mean, might work. It it would work. But I'm just trying to think, because I would love to get like a rooftop terrace somewhere in here. Maybe a rooftop terrace here. So let's see, if we get two of these, like that, we'll need to run a path along here. We could get a shrub here. And then if I wanted to get a rooftop terrace right there, and then if we unlock our first roof piece, we'll get a little roof on there. Now the question is, how do they get up here? That is the question. If I were to get the triple platform, although I don't actually, I don't need it. If I were to get a double platform, yeah, so they'd have to kind of come out and then go up. Like that. I guess that would work. Kind of, uh, just kind of doesn't look very good. I'm trying to think of another way I could lay it out. Yeah, I guess that, I guess that would be fine. So then we could get up here, and then that could come over here, and then we could actually get another row house in here. Like that. That would be good. I mean, that's a lot of building. We do not have the... We do not have the logs for that, unfortunately. Do we have any? No, we do not. Yeah, so we're not quite keeping up population-wise with what we're trying to do. Um, food is going well. This is going to be the highest priority, focused on kohlrabi. So these three are harvesting the kohlrabi. And then over here, I think we're going to start to plant some uh, cassavas, although we're not quite ready for that. Um, mainly because we, one, don't have the population for it. Um, but two, we need to dam this off first before we can do that. Okay. So let's see. Why don't we prioritize these houses so that we can get everyone housed because now you can see that our shelter is 20 out of 30 so we do have a fair amount of beavers uh, there are five in here that i don't think are being counted um but that's okay and then i guess we could actually bring this bring this online. We are going to need a couple more beavers in here. So we are actually pulling quite a few of our beavers. We now have none in science. So we are going to want to expand our uh, reproductive efforts with these beavers. So if that's what we're going to do, why don't we kind of just want to cover the front of this with breeding pods. Um, and then this will kind of be our cutoff for where we're going to grow. So this whole area will be growing. And then eventually, once we get some better water storage, we will remove these and uh, get some bigger water storage elsewhere. So why don't we go ahead and unlock those medium water tanks? So that'll be 120 science. Oh, which I don't have. I don't have 120 science. Okay. Well, at the very least, we can start to stockpile some uh, some goods. 
Why don't we get a couple small warehouses here? So this will be for gears. And then actually this is going to be a small pile. And this will be for planks. So that we can start to stockpile some of those resources. That'll be good. Because we're actually, we're starting to get some more logs coming on. Which is good. I just realized we can pause this. We can probably get rid of these two altogether. And I guess I'll leave these here just because we have a couple oaks that are coming up. And oaks are so... They are the best tree once you get a huge supply of oaks. You, you're just set for, for wood for the foreseeable future. Which is good. But okay, so our houses are coming up. We do have... What do we have? An injured beaver. All right, so we're going to have to start to think of like a little medical area, it sounds like. So where would the little medical area be? We could probably put it kind of over here, although that's near the bad water, so that doesn't really make much sense to me. We could put it somewhere over here, but that would in involve a lot of platform building. Let's see. If we were to, yeah, we're gonna need, we would need triple platforms to put it over here. How much are the triple platforms? 200? Because what I'd almost like to do is do something like this. And then put the medical beds kind of like right here with maybe like a shrub as a delineator and then come in here and get the med medical bed which costs 80 and I know that we're kind of hurting on science points but why don't we get just one of those built quickly so that we can get this poor beaver some medical treatment you know and all of these oaks were cut down. That's probably where we got that huge infusion of, of wood. But this is good now. With our dam set, for an average drought, we should be totally fine keeping all of this hydrated, um, as well as down here. So we do have a drought incoming. We're doing pretty good on housing. We actually have nine vacant beds, which is great. And why don't we start to uh, really get the population going? We'll get three more breeding pods and we have 16 vacancies ah so that is where all of our that is where all of our oh and there's probably a bunch of workers in these so let's bring that down just to one actually let's pause that one altogether then the gears, he's doing okay, so let's just see again. So we still have two, so that's two of our scientists. Um, we are about to have a couple more, because I am about to pause the water pumps. Let's see, we have 200 some odd water. I'm actually a little concerned as to whether that's going to be enough. So why don't we just leave one of those water pumps running for now? I think that'll be good. And this is too far from the district. Okay, so let's get rid of that just for now. Because I want to put some stairs up here. Just so that we can get that rooftop built. Priorities. Oh wait, it actually might not be too far from the district. Because these stairs aren't built yet. Okay, so that actually makes me think that these stairs do need to be built. We'll just put that on medium priority so that we can start to get our medical area built. Okay. Still no haulers, which is interesting to say the least, but we are getting some science going, which is good. We do need science because we need that larger um, water storage tank for a couple reasons. One, more water is safer. Um, but two, we can start to get rid of these water storages. And we haven't had a bad tide yet, which is good, although it's concerning. 
Um, a bad tide will be quite destructive um, to our resources, as you guys will see when we get there. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to get a little bit more water stored up. So why don't we get one of these unpaused? So we can come over and get that log. We could also probably remove the cutting area from here because it's gone. And now that that whole log has been picked up, we can pause that one again. We're doing pretty good. Okay, so we are moving along at a pretty good pace now. We're getting that roof built. Excellent. And why don't we go into well being, get a rooftop terrace in there? That will be good. And we do have our first medical bed up and running, which is great. And eventually this whole thing is going to be medical beds. So that'll be like our kind of uh, kind of our medical area, which will be excellent. All right. And our breeding pods are running, which is great. So we should start to see a pretty good plus up in our population, which will be good. And then we do need to start to think, I mean, is it too early to start to think about how we're going to divert the bad water? Because we actually kind of have an opportunity to divert it here. Is there any earlier opportunity? I mean, we could kind of just dump it off the side here. Where would that go? So that would come down here and flow right off the map. That would work. I don't think there's any way that we're going to get it built in time, but we could try. So in order to do that, what would we want? We would want a dam here that can be opened and closed, right? Maybe here. So if we got a dam here that could be open and closed, how many levels would it need to be? Because if I did three levels from here, would that dump water? So this is one, two, three. So this is three levels right here. And then it drops down one. So I think if we get rid of maybe like these five, And then we build like a three level dam there. And then similarly, we would need another dam here, but this would only be two levels high. With one, two, three, four, five. And is that going to be too tall? Uh, it won't be as long as we close that off, right? Yeah. So that would work. That would allow us to shift the water off of the map. Now again, getting over here is going to be the issue. Although I actually, it might not be that hard. I just don't know if I have the resources to get over there and start to do anything remotely like this. For quite some time because I think the best way to get over there would be to kind of use this existing wall structure to kind of run along the side I guess that is kind of why I left this path here it's to be able to get up there so how high do we need to get so we need to get to there so we would need stairs coming up there with a path. And then let's see, we would need to get rid of this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And then we'd come over here. So we would need to get rid of this one. And now this drops back down. So how do we get down there? So we would need stairs down, and then those would need to go, and then that. I think. All right, let's try and lay this out. Let's see if this would work. 
So we'd have a path coming in like this. Right? And then we would have some stairs coming up here. Maybe a path there. With a lantern. Oh, and then we would actually need a triple platform. So let's unlock that. So triple platforms there. Double platforms there. Because this is going to be stairs back down. We can do something like that. Get a shrub there and a shrub there. And then a double platform there. Like that. So that would kind of be our way to start to get over here. And then we would need some stairs down. Or we could go like this. So we could go double platform there. A couple singles there. Like that. Shrub there. Single platform there. Lamp there. And then that would get us over here, more or less. Like that. That's going to take a ton of resources to build. Um, and I just realized that we are at the end of the episode, guys. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, I would appreciate you guys leaving a like and a comment. Why don't we get these water pumps up and running before we completely uh, kill all of our beavers due to thirst? Um, that would be good. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps with the, uh, the visibility of the episodes. Um on YouTube. And as always, I appreciate you all and I will see you in the next episode. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.